No the kicker's got the, the ball set return. up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kansas State's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Second and 13. Ball on the 22. He scrambled. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. That scramble gets them seven yards. That'll bring up third and six. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Oh, excellent hook. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So the opening drive failed to produce any points. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And the safety with the interception. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 to the 20. Pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. From the 15-yard line, first down. Mike 50, Mike 50. Let it Let it Got an opening. Brought down around the five-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Mike 50, Mike 50. He's taken down around the two-yard line. They're at the two. It's second down. And they make the stop at the one yard line. At the corner. Touchdown, K State. He hits the PAT. A four-play, 16-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 7-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to oh, stick go, to the go. game plan. Three, nine. And he's tackled right away. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Let's go. He's, he's, he's. Shoot, shoot, shoot. He steps out the 38-yard line. That makes it second and eight. He 
goes out of bounds at the 39. Six-yard line. at the 30 to the 10 and he will score so a great play by the defender to give his team six points that was a very good play and that will certainly help build his team's momentum And he adds the extra point. Kansas State is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wildcats are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. it quickly oh boy almost intercepted how did he drop that the defender did everything that he needs to do he read the play perfectly he stepped up and what does he do he drops the interception boy the offense caught a break there setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen he's pushed out of bounds at about the 43 yard line at the 28-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Gets it. He's in space. And he's tackled right around the 16-yard line. hit immediately. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And down he goes, around the four-yard line. made at about the three-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second. From the three-yard line, it's second down. Defense in their short yardage package. Touchdown, Houston! He 
Cats on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense, ready to get things going again. Kansas State is up a score. He makes his way out to about the 35. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second so it's second place. down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. They'll knock him down for a loss. That makes it third and three. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. The Wildcats with a touchdown lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. almost picked off. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. And this one is a beauty. Tries to get around the corner. They'll bring him down to 39-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He flings it right. Found his man. The 10. And he scores. Touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Boy, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sidelines and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he converts the extra point. Houston is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's to the 40. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. Right now, this quarterback, when he's calling play action, is doing a good job of selling the run fake. He's not tipping his hand at all that it's a play action pass. He's doing a good job of selling the run fake, which is getting the defense out of position and making it much easier to throw the football. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Hey, we got Mike 50. Mike 50, huh? Ready! Red, eight, one. And he's immediately tackled. That'll bring up third and four. Oh, 
Let's go! Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and they got him for a loss. That'll bring up fourth and five. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Kansas State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and it's good! They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick throw. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He's hit and taken down. Nice grab on the play. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Brought down at the 40. Number six makes the tackle at the 40 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From the 32-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at the 28. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. Steps out of bounds at the 25-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. Third down. They're about four yards away here on third down. I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown. Huge play. effort by the wide receiver and not to take anything away from the quarterback but the wide receiver made this play the coverage just couldn't keep up with him there they're going to take a look at this to determine if it was really a touchdown and they didn't waste any time going to the booth to review this play so the referee initially calls it a catch but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in and that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not so after some discussion the call on the field stands he splits the uprights with the extra point a nine play 74 yard drive and they get it in for seven. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackles him hard at the 36. That's a game of 11 play. First down. It's first and 10. 
Ball on their own 36. He's got it out to his tight end. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. Kansas State's going to take their first time out of the half. He's out of bounds right around the 46 yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up It's third inches. down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. 14, watch 14. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46. Gain of eight on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. You are not ready. You are not ready. Hey, check Mike. Check Mike. Mike six. Mike six. Run out. He's going to try and scramble. Tries to get around the corner, and they make the stop around the forty-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Tight left. Tight left. Come on. Come on. Watch fourteen. Watch fourteen. Come on. Come on. Got a man open and he can't pull it in. Number 16, he intends to receive it That makes it third and three. Mike, six. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull together. Red Hardy! And he's sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Right, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that is going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Loose football. It's recovered. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three down, three down. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike. Catches it, and that's all. The Wildcats are going to call their second timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Let's go! Move 80! Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. Easy, 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 easy! Number 10 makes the set at the 11-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 28-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Kansas State kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Houston's roaring back, and they're within striking distance right now. Yeah, they've done a good job of kind of sticking with their game plan after a very slow start. And now you look up at the scoreboard, and right before the half, you're right back in the football game. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From their own 39-yard line, 
First down. He airs it out. Houston's called their final timeout. I don't know if he could have delivered a better ball to the receiver if he'd been standing next to him. That was spectacular. Kicks away, and he got it. So we played two quarters. We get a tie game here, knotted at 24. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk ready to roll. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. And he's tackled at about the 29 yard line. That makes it second and six. Got a receiver and he dropped it. It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 29. Here we go, D. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. And they're coming after this punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Tackle at the 30. Maybe a yard on that draw play. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30. He scrambles. And down he goes at the 42. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six. Let me go! Tackle made around the 44-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. And he 
shoved out of bounds at the 41. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Good tackle there in space. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Makes it third and three. Mike 50. Hey, check, check. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. And he's taken down at the 31. Six yards. First down. Nice gain as he works the right side. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and And this play is number eight on the drive. He's tackled at about the 13. Number 23 makes the tackle at the 13 yard line. From the 13 yard line. First down. Watch 14. Watch 14. Mike. And he is drilled at the four yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll make it second and injury. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. Let's go, Heavy. Let's go, Heavy. Heavy Here we go. Run. Run. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. the corner. Touchdown, Wildcats. That's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. So an 11 play, 70-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score... 31-24. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Catches it. Brought down at the 43 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He heaves it deep. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cougars. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Houston is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's 
taken down at the 22-yard line. The blockers tried to sell the misdirection, but the defender stayed home and made the play. That's the kind of effort a coach likes to see from his defense. From their own 22-yard line, second down. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Sets up the screen. Tailback's got it. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field. And they really shut him down that time. And this one is a beauty. Dirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Going long. And he's hit immediately. Some hard at the 29. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. So we played three quarters of football, and with one quarter to go, we're in a deadlock. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Here we go. Red 18. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Big play, and it's first and goal. Pushed out of bounds at the three. the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on their own 26. Run 
They go with a run. Number 33. That's a game of six on the play. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Houston is up by a touchdown. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. I love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up first down, they get a new set down. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. Here comes the pressure. He fires this one. And he's got it. Going the other way now. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Just over two minutes in the game. He's out of bounds, right around the 36-yard line. That'll make it seven to seven. Roger, 
defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. That brings us third and ten. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of about two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And here's a quick throw. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. And they finally push him out at the 37. That makes it first and 10. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Now he tries to buy some time. There he goes. Tackle at the 18. A little over a minute in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. They bring him down in the backfield. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. Tenth play of the drive. He's scrambling. And they get the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. And this is the ball game right here. He scrambles. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT late in the fourth quarter. And with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And they can forget about returning this one. Late in the fourth quarter now, game is tied. Which coach can outcoach the other? It's a chess match right now. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And a corner on the interception. In a close game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Maybe that pick was it, but who knows? We've still got some football to be played. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That brings us 
second and nine. He's on the run. They bring him down. Kansas State. We'll take their final timeout. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Delay of game, offense. Kansas State is up by six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A great game here today in a tight one. Kansas State, 45, Houston, 38. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.